Hello, peeps. Uh, somebody on Google Plus was asking about how to get started with uh, doing GPS tracking, and I offered the suggestion for just any old uh, automotive GPS by Garmin. Um, here's how you can go ahead and do that. Um, here we are in my car, and we're looking at my uh, Garmin. This is a 2555. If you go to View Map, I apologize for it being so dark here. Uh, it's kind of a bright day. Tap on the speedometer to bring up the dashboard. You'll hold the speedometer for a few seconds here. It should pop a menu in a second. There we go. And then we will want diagnostic logging and start recording. And then you'll want to make sure everything here is unchecked except for GPX. And you'll go up to the menu button here and start. Now, you'll see right here in uh, the lower left-hand side of the screen, you have uh, a stop button here that uh, stops the GPX recording. Um, this setting is persistent between boots, so if I turn it off and turn it back on again, it will uh, start a new GPS trace uh, with the file name being the timestamp when the GPS trace started. Um, and as you can see, it's also got a nice little convenient timer so you can see how long you've been driving on this trace. Um, powering off the unit starts a new GPS trace if after it's been off for, I think it's about 60 seconds or so, um, it will reset. You could also just hit stop and then go back through the menus. I just let it run since I'm also using uh, uh, my device to capture GPS traces for OpenStreetMap. And that way, you know, I also recommend OpenStreetMap for uh, keeping track of those nice travel logs. So, anyway, any rate, this is Paul Johnson, uh, OpenStreetMap Oklahoma, uh, showing you how to do a GPS trace on a Garmin 2555.